almost like I use this as a trigger. Boom! Oh, it gave me seven up and Okay, so I've got the guy, he's big, he's aggressive, he's starting to get in my face, he's moving in, he's giving me, he's closing down the distance. I don't let him get that far. The moment he's at this distance here, it's almost like I use this as a trigger. Boom! I'll hit him and knock him down. Pull it. Boom! There, like that, that's it. As you can see, he's staggered, so I'm moving in. Boom! And I'll hit him again. And I make sure I hit him until he stays down. That was quite nice. Yeah. So, boom! Oh, there! Down. And I'll make sure he stays down. So I'll blind him up. Okay, situation's getting tense. Bang! And I follow him down. I make sure I stay with him. You'll notice I didn't go to the ground. I'm not going to roll around on the ground fighting him. It's dangerous. It's dangerous for me because he might have accomplices. And you'll also notice if we just do this again. Bang! Bang! I'm actually looking around. I'm not just looking at him. I know he's going down. But I need to look around at my environment. 360 degree awareness to make sure I know that he hasn't got any pals. If you hit him hard and fast, you know what? His pals will have fucked up long ago because they don't want a piece of this action. Thanks, Richard. Uh, this one. Now we're going to look at this scenario with a with a hook. Standard technique that's been thrown by wankers in pubs. Okay, I'm I'm if, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to the guy, look, calm down, relax. I don't want any fucking trouble because I don't. Okay, get this in your head. You don't want trouble, but if it comes looking for you, you need to deal with it. You need to deal with it effectively. You need to deal with it quickly. So again, from my lineup, he throws a hook. Bang! I hit him. Boom, boom, boom! And I'll hit him again and again and again. You'll notice I get hold of, I had hold of his head that time. That makes for a particularly effective elbow strike. So I've, I've got the distance. I'm controlling the space. He moves in. Boom! I hit him with this. I hit him with this, okay? And again, if he doesn't go down, I grab his head and actually throw him down. And strike. Open hand again. The head. Notice also. I'm dropping the knee on his on his thorax here. I'm dropping all of my body weight onto his chest. This creates a lot of damage. Full speed. Do full speed. Yeah. I'm fucking aggressive when I'm doing it. Okay, that's the key. You don't be smiling as they go down. You're not blending. Uh, 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 latching on to the, the powers of the universe here. You're beating the shit out of this guy. Okay? Might look like Aikido, but it's not. Uh, again? Or can we do another one? Uh. Another perfect example against a hook. Okay? Richard moves at me with a hook. I step in. I actually step inside of the hook. I can strike him here or here. Okay? And once I've got him here, I've got a lot of control. Once I've got him here, I can pull him down and throw him over. Boom! Bam, bam, bam. Again, strike in the head. That's a nice fall. Thanks. No, that's a good fall. Are you okay? Okay, so you can see what we're doing here. Again, I step inside and hit him. See what I'm doing? I'm actually hitting him here. Okay? Or here. Choice is yours. What's your favorite weapon? Use it. Train it. Bang. From here, I'll just roll him down, throw him over. Nothing fancy there, and drop on him. I'm actually slapping on the head, but bouncing his head off the surface beneath. Okay, in this case, concrete. It's a car park. That would do a significant amount of damage to him. This would work against a knife. If he's got an edge weapon of any kind, it would work the same way. Okay? That's, that's for another DVD. Okay, again, the jab slap. Okay? Tell me your line up. He moves towards you. Boom! There he goes. Straight down, and... That's how we should go down. It's not very dramatic, it's not very movie-like, but that's how we'll go down. You can see that he's finished with. The same effect will be from the palm hill strike to the head as well. So for example, from here, yeah, boom, there. There he goes. If he hasn't gone down, I'm moving in, I'm watching, I'm gonna hit him again. You've got plenty of time between those two strikes. Don't let you gotta dash in. You're not scoring points in a competition. You're finishing this guy off. 
And you may notice that after I've hit them, bang, there, I'm looking around. I'm making sure that there's none of his accomplices around. And that is how you do a preemptive slap, jab slap, the way it's used by the SAS. Forehead, again, I can multiple strikes here. A friend of mine used it, bam, this way. You see the effect? It knocks him down. I make sure he stays down. He'd send a clear message out to his friends if he has any. You know, that A, he's a wanker, and B, I'm not to be fucked with. That's a clear message you've got to send out. Okay. in quickly. Someone who moves in, gets hold of you, physically tries to control your space. This would happen in pubs and clubs, close range places, where people are, are mingling together. When you're in this sort of situation, you've got to take the best possible opportunity to deal with it effectively. If you don't want to be trying to struggle and fight against it, just move. Just step and move. You can move from any position and move and grab the head. So I've got, again, head control. Take Richard down and into the ground. Okay? And from those close range positions, yeah, for example, from this side, here, okay, what's to stop you striking the side of the head here? Right at the beginning of the DVD, I mentioned about striking the, you know, the, hitting the eardrum. A cupped hand against the ear like this will give sufficient, create sufficient pain to knock this attacker down. And then I can reach for the head, and if I need to, head rip, and I head control and take down. Again, back to my final position, okay? If he grabs me side on this way, where the arms are both trapped like this, yeah, it might feel trapped, but actually just with a slight movement, I've got control, okay? Remember, these moves have got to be done quickly. I'm demonstrating it slowly for the benefit of you guys. But you can see from this position what I can do. The, you know, the opportunities here to do tremendous amounts of damage are extensive. Taking him down and back this way, he's in real, real trouble. He's in a world of shit and a world of pain. Okay, we get in you go. Okay, so he grabs you, the moment he grabs you, bang, that's when you make your move. Okay, that's when you make your move. That's when you make your move. That's when you make your move. Okay, you can see from this position, it's something quite interesting here. Look at what you're doing. All I'm going to do is that, and he's taken down to the ground. You just got to think about what's going on around you. You don't need to do martial arts to learn this stuff. This is obvious. Okay, let's see that again. He grabs me, boom. I can move my elbow up and hit him here. Think about what you're doing. I can roll him over this way, I can grab his head, I can take him around and down to the ground. And when this is done at speed, it does tremendous amounts of damage to the head and the neck. We'll do this as fast as we can, but bearing in mind that I've got to be careful here because I can do serious damage to Richard's neck. He moves in. Bang! Move! Quickly take control! Bang, 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 bang. I'm going down. If his hand's up, he's protecting his head. Fine, hit the side of it. It doesn't matter. If his hand's up, throw it away and then hit him again. It's all about that aggression. We'll see again. He grabs me this side. Every time it's going to be different. I'm in a different position this time. From here, it's pretty obvious what I can do. Some of you martial artists out there will be going, oh yes, chop to the groin. Fine. If that works, fine. Wouldn't be my first option. My first option would be to turn and hit him here. Because again, I don't want to just hurt him. I actually want to knock him out. So I've just opened up the jaw area here. And there he goes again. Whoa, and down he goes. Okay? So let's see a couple of those at speed, because to be perfectly honest, I don't know what I'm going to do until he attacks me, and that's the situation you're going to be in. What you've got to learn to do is build these SOPs, palm heel strikes, elbows, knees, head controls. Watch what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, moves in. Four. That's one there.
Sorry, man. Fucking sorry, man. <coughs> you walked straight on to it. <coughs> well, you see what happened there? Richard moved in. So motion, I hit him. I don't care, okay, for any fancy techniques. I saw movement, stick my palm heel strike out. Okay, that did sufficient damage for me to control him from there. Let's just see one more. Let's see you really switched off. Let's leave it. Let's see you really fucking switched off. Remember, none of this works if you're pissed. My watch did a little bit of work there for me as well. So I caught his nose and ripped into it. You all right? This is real stuff. This works. This is not martial arts, this is fighting art. You go through a lot of training partners with this stuff. So you've got to take it easy and be careful. Richard's trained. The other guys you've seen on this DVD all train with me. Okay, they know the score when they're training in this stuff. You know, there's one important thing I've got to say here. Is if you want to train but you're not prepared to get the odd bump and bruise, fuck it off. Stay at home. Do not go out. Yeah? You might be able to fool yourself doing martial arts. That you're getting tough. That you're becoming a warrior. It's absolute bullshit. You know, there's only one group of warriors in this world, and those are lads that are serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. People actually fighting, okay? They're putting their lives on the line every single fucking day. They're learning things like this, as well as how to kill people with lead and with steel. Okay, they're the only real fighters out there. So if you're going to try and fool yourself and think, well, I'll, I'll play with this, you're, just, you're taking the piss out of me, you're taking the piss out of yourself. Okay? When you train, you train hard and you train aggressively. Remember, the way you train, is the way you react. If you train to work innocuous techniques, simple techniques that, that, that don't work, stuff like uh, he attacks me and I go block, punch, punch, punch. Okay, it might be great in the dojo, but in the real world, that, that's not gonna cut the mustard, not at all. And you, the way you train is the way you react. So when we train together, Richard attacks me, yeah? Bang, bang, that's the way I react. And I do it aggressively, and you can see in this DVD that I am turning on the aggression. Okay? You've got to understand this. Without speed, aggression, and surprise, this, this is nothing. You're wasting your time even watching the DVD. It's about real fighting. Okay, some people make reference to what if I get attacked from behind? I said right at the beginning of the DVD that awareness was your prime concern. And if you're switched on and aware of what's going on, this sort of situation, which Richard's going to demonstrate, should never happen. If you're up against someone who's doing even a little bit of judo, even a little bit of grappling and wrestling, once he gets you into one of these, there is no way out. You will be unconscious within about eight seconds. This is why I, I really, I think it's a pointless exercise teaching anybody. But let's just say, yeah, let's do a what if. Okay, so the guy's grabbed you from behind. Yeah, you've been unaware, you've been caught from behind. The moment he puts that on, you need to start moving quickly. And you need to move to the weakest point of the lock. You don't want to go this way, you want to go this way. Okay? And then pull them in this way. Now I know you guys want to go off and practice this shit. Okay? So if I break it down again, just so the benefit. Okay? Bear in mind though, I'd rather you didn't do this. I think you shouldn't be in this position. It's bollocks. I've never been caught from behind by anybody. Okay? Because I always watch my back. Okay, what do I do? Yeah? I catch him and turn. Remember if you put this on too late, he's choking you out. You're in serious shit, yeah? As soon as I move through the weak point here, I've got hold of the arm. Now, if I want to be a policeman, and I can be fancy, I can go to an arm lock here. I personally don't like arm locks. I'll hold the hand and I'll strike the head. Or reach and grab the head this way. Pulling him round and down. And then guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. Bang, bang, bang. That good old palm heel strike. Okay, so that's my take on what to do if you grab from behind on that particular situation. But please, don't end up in this situation. You're wasting your time. If you do... Okay? That's how I would deal with it. Right. It pisses you off. It's been plaguing you all night. Um, this is a technique that I personally used, yeah? Um, we were trying to take the guy in for a question. He didn't want to come. He wasn't happy about it. Just stand this side, Richard. This is just so you can see the technique better. Um, Basically, he didn't want to come. And we developed this thing, Kenny and me, and we call it an RTD. 
We are these fond of acronyms, and RTD was one of our big ones. Rapid Tarmac Deceleration, and you'll see why. The guy's not, not been particularly uh, recollected. He wants to, he doesn't want to come with me. He just didn't want to move. He wasn't motivated at all to come with me. So I hit him in the groin, the head comes forward like this. I grab his head, grab his jaw, and then we pushed him into the tarmac like so. Obviously, I can't demonstrate this at speed with Richard because he would end up with the old RTD scar, which is uh, the face being dragged through the gravel, as it were. Let's just see that again. The hand comes down, hit the groin. Head comes forward, grab the head and the jaw, pull him down into the ground, smashing his face into the ground. Remember, use the environment. That's an RTD. Nice little technique. Good fun. You don't necessarily have to hit them into the ground. If you've got somebody at the bar, yeah? Uh, you, haven't got, you haven't really got a lot of space, you hit him in the groin, head comes forward, you turn him and push the head over, oh, smack him down onto the ground this way. Or, as was a favourite of a friend of mine, hit the groin, grab the head and bounce oh. it off the bar. Again, it's keeping it simple. Hit the groin, head control, smash the head off the bar. You can imagine what the result was. Um, be careful that there's not a glass ashtray on the bar. A friend of mine did seven months for that.